how to create colourful designs using a simple selection, gradient tool, as well as pattern layers in Affinity Photo. Go over to the elliptical marquee tool, select that and just hold down the shift so you get a nice circle there. What you can then do, go to select feather and radius, just change that, click apply. Now go over to the layer menu and new layer. You need a new layer when you're using gradients. So I'm just gonna go over to the gradient tool and just add a gradient. Now you've got a linear gradient there, that's a default one, and also white to black. Just go to linear and then elliptical. Then you can go to select and deselect. And now you can turn that into a pattern layer. Go to a layer and new pattern layer from selection, which you can resize. Just go to the move tool. You can also go up here to mirror, which I know it's a circle, doesn't make much sense, but I'm gonna deform it so it does make more sense when I do that. Just gonna remove the background layer. I can now use equations. Just gonna to go to filters and distort and equations. Now, unfortunately there's no presets or anything, so you just have to quickly enter it. And I'm just gonna go for two times X and two times Y in the Y field. So you end up with this design. However, extend mode down the bottom, I want mirror, click apply. You can apply again, apply a number of times. So filters, repeat. Now, of course, if you push it up too high, you can see the slight, obviously there's blurriness. That's why I went for the blurriness in the first place. And now I'm gonna deform it. So I'm just gonna to go to filters and distort and deform. The line around there, that's the region of the pattern, source of it. Just add some, and you can always delete them if you wish. You can always add new ones. So you can just move them around, just simply go there. And I'm gonna go with rigid this time. I generally go for similarity, but this case, I think, to be honest, rigid works better. I'll just show you if it goes similarity. Works sometimes, works not, up to you. Just try them out, see which ones you like. Or you can go back to rigid, just try it. Click apply. Also, what you can do, you can always apply again. So filters, repeat, deform. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And you can always undo. You can also apply other filter effects as well. You can also see it's still live, so you can move it around. You can also, if you wish, save this to your assets. So you can just go to view and studio and go to assets. There's the assets panel. Just save it so you can use it in another project if you wish. So with that, I can go to filters, distort, pinch and punch. You can then resize that and you can see what happens then. You can just generate even more unusual designs and you can still modify the origin as well. And the key thing is just do it over the actual pattern source. If you do it over here, it doesn't actually seem to change it very much. Works best when you're actually over the pattern box. So you can see you can just move that around and you can change the settings or not. Click apply. And also what you can do, again, you can always go to filters and repeat, which actually creates quite a nice design itself. However, I don't want that. Of course, gray, well, it's okay, but you can color it. So you can go to layers and then go to new adjustment layer, recolor. And you can always just run through the colors. Orange is quite nice. Change that, you can just try them out. Just go through it. You can also go through the blending modes. So you can try those out. Maybe one works better than another. That's quite nice, but normal. And then you've got that. Now it's a layer and you can simply drag. So you go to layers here and you can go down there, just drag it down into there, into the patterns. And you can sort of just select that and duplicate it. So go to layer and just go down here to duplicate. So you've got two, they're separate. So what you can do, you can change the color. So if you don't want that color, double click it, go for a different color. And you can always shift designs around. So you go back to the pattern and you can just move it slightly. So you can just create all kinds of unusual designs or maybe rotate the design. Whole load of different things. Also what you can do, you've got blending modes. So you can just go up to here's patterns. You can always run through and just say, you know what, let's just try out difference. And you can create some very unusual designs just simply by doing that. And of course, once you're happy with that, you can flatten the whole thing and turn it into just a standard pixel layer or save it, or maybe save the collection to the assets panel as well, if you want to use them in future work. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.